नमस्ते वेलकम टू होम हैश टैग लाइफ दिस वीडियो इज प्योरली डेडिकेटेड टू फेस्टिवल स्पेशल डीप क्लीनिंग एंड डी क्लटरिंग आई ट्राई टू पुट द वीडियो इन अ बेस्ट वे पॉसिबल लाइक अ सिस्टमेटिक गाइड आई फॉलो टू डी क्लटर एंड क्लीन आवर बेडरूम्स I hope this video will encourage you to start the festival cleaning and be ready to feel the festival vibe in a clean and organized home. So, let's get started. Before we start decluttering, we need couple of things in place. One, a bed sheet to cover the bed. Two, a big box or a large plastic bag. I'm using a big suitcase here to put everything I'm going to discard. 3 ear pod or a headphone to hear some good music or audiobook. And above all, the will to start to reach our cleaning milestone. First, I will declutter then cleaning. This left side of the loft holds our suitcases and travel bags. right side of the loft where i store all blanket and throws mostly seasonal stuff we have total 3 double bed blankets and 4 single bed blankets i'm going to give this one to one of my cousins and these to our house help i'm not an advocate of throwing every extra stuff we have in our home I feel you know it is the number of extra staffs we gather over time go through them then you think over it and if you don't need that then discard once everything is sorted we will clean before we put everything back in its place take a rag spraying a homemade cleaner and wiping the outside of the wardrobe comes under yearly deep cleaning or else they keep getting ignored in day to day cleaning I try to follow that 80/20 rule here. 80% full and 20% breathing space. Whenever we have guest at our home, we use all these blankets. Everything is visible and within reach. These big boxes are worth of every penny. They help to keep the dust away and gives the entire space a neat or clean look. I have ordered another big box to keep these big blankets as they collect dust throughout the year. Let's move on to the wardrobe, our storage and treasure chest. On this shelves, I store extra pillows and linens. Here, extra 12 by 20 pillows, dohar or bed covers which I rotate periodically. On this shelf, pillow covers. Here, cushion covers. then bed sheets and at the bottom some miscellaneous covers majorly i want to give away a few cushion covers to my sisters you know as a content creator sometimes we need a few stuffs for a specific video or content then i like to give it to someone who can cherish it it does impart some happiness to know that giving them might bring some smiles to their faces Before we put back everything, give the shelves a good wipe. I always follow a simple rule when I declutter or organize. One shelf at a time. I am not someone who wants to take out everything and clean. You know, as a mother and with uncertain job timing, both a personal and professional are quite demanding. So I always like to take small steps to balance between my home and professional life. And don't forget, as the saying goes, "Don't bite more than you can chew." To be honest, uh, my hubby is quite a minimal guy and throughout the year his wardrobe stays neat or tidy, of course with my support. Also, I don't like to intrude in his personal space. I have asked him to purge anything he doesn't like to wear anymore and he has done quite a good job. Often I need to give him a push to make it happen. Sometimes you know we have all the knowledge but still wait for someone to talk about it make us feel it's important there will always be some people too attached with the dresses their memories etc talk to them but don't force them if they still want the dress to be there in their wardrobe 
but keep reminding them why it is important to declutter. For my wardrobe, it is definitely going to be a task. Here are some polyester tops. Um, they are the perfect example of my impulse buying. I tried to give it a shot, wore them a couple of times, but uh, you know, the touch and the feel on my skin always shouts. Nah, I, I didn't like it at all. So it's uh, time for them to go. Either I donate them or uh, make some cushion covers out of them. A backdrop for picture frames can be a good idea. Time will tell. Most of us wear different style clothes. Western dresses, into western dresses, a traditional attire like heavy kurtas or saris um, that definitely requires some space. So I have found a trick. I'm limiting myself with these baskets. Once it's full, I'm bound to follow one in one out rule. We should try to make our own rules as we know what are we capable of following. Start with small steps and depending on how it works, we need to refine them. Finally, it's done. Feels so much better already. When it comes to festival cleaning, walls are my priority. Once you start cleaning the walls, you will see the layer of dust has settled on the surface throughout the year, which was not clearly visible until we wipe it. Once done, you can see the difference now. Of course, the paint shines brighter post cleaning. Cleaning the fan comes under weekly cleaning routine for me. Either use a vacuum cleaner or use the pillow cover trick for heavily soiled fan. Or a simple wet cloth will suffice the cleaning if you clean the fan on a regular basis. While you are up for deep cleaning, don't forget the hidden jewels which are light fixtures. Clean the glasses and nooks and corners of the light fixtures. After all, they are the ones who are going to brighten this festival look. In this chest of drawer, my hubby stores all his daily wears and t-shirts. This last drawer needs some decluttering but I will wait for him to do that. When you are cleaning any furniture, don't forget to clean them from inside. Surprise, surprise, definitely it's a surprise for me. You will find so much dust collected over time. In this chest of drawer, I store my camera equipment. This drawer holds all my stationeries. I'm going to declutter which I know I'm never going to use them again. I don't like to call all these things clutter. For me, clutter is something broken, cannot be used again, but still we are holding on to them. The things which I don't want anymore, I would like to call them, mm, I don't know, can you help me in the comment section? Um, but definitely these are memories which need to be passed to someone else to help create new memories for them. I use this bed box storage drawer to hold stuff which I want to donate or give it to any of my friends or family like my daughter's outgrown clothes or hubby's clothes or my clothes or any home decor stuff etc. You can see already few stuffs are here which I have decluttered over time and I will give them away eventually. After taking out everything from the drawer, I vacuum clean and wipe nicely. Once you are done with the inside, take out the drawer and clean under the bed storage. Ah, all clean. The feeling of deep cleaning is superb, isn't it? I like to store extra area rugs and carpets which fits perfectly in this big drawer. 
now let's close the drawer and move on to our next chore twice a year we flip the mattress during holi and diwali but before flipping and after flipping don't forget to vacuum sometimes i like to call urban company to clean the mattress pay attention to the dressing table it is the best time to discard old stuff and purchase anything you have been waiting for a long time just recently i purged my jewelry and cosmetics probably you have seen that video so today it won't uh, take me a long time to purge and declutter now let's move on to the windows and doors use a cleaner and a rub 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 it's the perfect time to remove hard stains from your windows or doors also don't forget to oil them i use our oldy goldy mustard oil just few drops and no more sound you can use other oils as well depending on the availability after you clean everything now it's time to clean the floor vacuum or broom and wipe the floor nicely with hot soapy water did i miss anything <laughs> let me know in the comments here are some thoughts i want to share regarding decluttering process don't go on a decluttering spree trust me if you have never decluttered your home then it is going to be a marathon run for you decluttering can be really hectic and tiresome so plan your day ahead make some food first and then sleeps up do give this video a big thumbs up if you have found this useful and don't forget to subscribe to home hashtag life find us on instagram and facebook for more videos pictures and life updates i will see you in the next one till then take care bye bye